hello welcome to Fermi CG today I'm going to show you how to model this um, street map or the city using an add-on named blender this and this is uh, how I imported the open street map data and along with the map details and you can see I have buildings and highway also selected you can see the highways and all these things uh, and also the base map so if you select you can see uh, this base map also having the height details also in order to work the OSM details you need to download a plugin named blender this and you can see this is the plugin uh, so this you can see I will show you how to download this and this is the site github.com you can see the blender this add-on so I will provide a link for downloading in the YouTube video and you need to download as a zip file and in the blender you need to go to preferences sorry you need to go to preferences and click on the add-ons you need to click install and select uh, the zip file you already downloaded that way you can install and and wait for the installation to finish then in the add-ons panel you need to click this uh, checkbox called uh, this 3d view blender just checkbox so that will be installed in your local cache memory or the local drive then you need to expand this and there is a lot of settings here I'm not going to show you how these settings are or what are these settings and that will be in the another tutorial so just you need to first you need to make a cache folder so that is very important you need to select a folder in your system and uh, that cache folder will be used for downloading the data so like the base map and the building or some data and you can have a lot of options here but don't uh, change all this and i will show you how this works before that uh, i will show you all things uh, this blender this version uh, the latest one only work with 2.8 and you can see that he provided also the, some documentation also and how and this function works and you can search in the google or uh, bing or anything and you can search and go to that area and download the map and also it has the height details uh, the srtm details and also has esr a shape file import and export and if you are doing some building or some kind of a geographic project you can um you reference the layer and uh, only download that much area or you can bring and assemble the gist data you already created and also has the open street map data and you can use the geo reference the camera output and those, those kind of things uh, if you are doing some architectural or some kind of works you can use that uh, but uh, for me i'm just using it as artistic purpose so it just concern is just to make uh, some kind of cities a, lot, a very small city and uh, because of the functionality is very limited you can only download a very uh, base area or maybe 1.1 to 1 square kilometer or maybe 5 square kilometer area only uh, so keep in mind that you cannot make a big city like paris all the paris or the london with this plugin it's very limited and the blender also doesn't have that much functionality to load that much polygons within a scene so in order to create this first we need to create a new file don't save and also uh, i am using the latest blender version 2.81 so that's pretty cool as usual you need to delete the default cube and go to the this panel First year we already set the preferences and you see you can see web geo data import you can shape for geo reference raster open street map like some sri so that is very good uh, if you already download some open street map data xml data you can load it here also that will give you uh, extra functionality and you can export the shape file and uh, geo reference the camera options uh, some kind of mesh uh, settings you can uh, analyze them download the data and you can geo reference or something i am not sure what are these things and you can have so terrain analysis object you can bring the object on on top of on top of the mesh created so i'm just creating this web geo data base map and here it give you a different functionality for google and you have osm bing osm wms you can select whichever map you want actually i'm going to use um, bing because uh, in the google map uh, there is some 
issue I found in the latest version. Sometimes it's uh, quit without giving a warning. So I'm just using the Bing map and you can use uh, always uses the satellite or map data. I'm just using the map data and if you press OK it will um, just download something and uh, sometimes in the Bing it won't show anything just press the plus or minus uh, button in the, your keyboard on the number pad uh, it's going to show the data see now you can use the plus button or uh, the mouse zoom um, wheel and you can go and select whichever area you want if you use Google map it will uh, give you the old uh, all layer names accordingly but uh, already I said um, some issues with my configuration whenever I use Google it, it has some issues so don't worry if you know the place you want you can press um, G press the G button in the keyboard and it will show the search functionality so you can search here go to Paris and here the zoom level uh, so if you already know how the OSM work or the Google map work uh, there will be a default zoom level so how much uh, the area the camera is zooming with the satellite uh, data so default will be the 11 so that the whole area will be shown you can press ok so it will go to that area Paris and you can press space uh, so this is the map now the Paris map now you can press the space bar and change the map to satellite and press ok that will show you the satellite map and you can see the how much data is downloading here now we already have this area and um, keep in mind that this plugin is not made for downloading all the data as of course you can download the high resolution map data not the OSM data so my concern is to download the OSM data so I am not going to use the whole area just only the um, smallest area I can so I am going to zoom this area plus plus you can see um, the scale a zoom scale uh, the zoom number is going to change maybe 16 is enough so you can see uh, now I have a lot of areas you can cover maybe a little bit here also okay so I need only this much area so I fixed the area now you need to press E button in your keyboard so it will uh, make a plane and it will be fixed uh, in your um, blender so you know, nothing will change now we need to select WebGeo data and get SRTM in order to get the height detail. Do not go, you can go WebGeo data, get SRTM. That wait for us some time to download the data. See, now I already have the height details. So you can see this is in the perfect uh, you can achieve if you compare with another commercial solution or maybe another programs but it is very basic setup you can uh, use for your small scale city project or something smaller or maybe game project okay and now we have data for the map now we need uh, the building data in order to get that in order to get the building data or the OSM data you need to go just and same the web zero data get OSM details and make sure you are selecting uh, only the, uh, the that much you want not too much data and you can see either you can use it as a node or way or relationship but that depends upon what kind of project you want I need only the buildings buildings it will be I use here building or highway you can press shift and select or if you want land use leisure you can always select all this if you want waterway section all this and you need to use the elevation from object that so that data will sync with the uh, height details of this plane so click that so click that uh, and it will all uh, already select the um, base mesh which has the height details and you can uh, use the building extrusion that is very important you need to select the building extrusion and the, there will be a default height value you can change this 
this will be in the i think it's in the meter 20 meter maybe i think you can use 20 to 30 that will be default and you can use the random height threshold that means if there is an not actual data for the building you can it will use the randomization so you can use a 10 or maybe 100 or that depends on you maybe 40 then level height there will be level height um, how much story for the building you can and never use the separate object command if you if you use that and there will be a lot of objects uh, blender will crash so it will already give you and want a warning saying that never use can be slow with a lot of features I mean if you have a lot of features and a lot of uh, building data going on it this will make uh, um, too much trouble blender cannot handle that much data so uh, just press ok and wait for some time to finish this and it will be downloaded in the background the data will be downloaded maybe depending on the area this will give you error maybe if more than five kilometer or no, i think it's five kilometer uh, limit or 10 kilometer limit uh, this blender just will give you uh, an error report saying that uh, it's too much data but uh, this plugin cannot handle that much data so now it's already downloaded the building and placed on top of uh, the mesh very precisely and we have all the building data uh, and exactly fitting in the map and uh, this will be uh, arranged clearly here you can see the ways for buildings and ways for highway and you can see all these are cars you can edit or you can extrude you can do whatever you want you can assign certain things or maybe particles or which, whichever effect you want you can bring uh, you can make actual road and if you select uh, the import web geo data get ESM, you can use the waterway options that will give you the waterway if there is a river or anything going and you can use railway natural leisure and also if you go to the preferences you can add lot of details here see this is the um, actual awesome tax it's called awesome tax if you know how to add tax or if you want you can just uh, search in the open street to map data or some website and get the tag details and you can add here that tag and, and this plugin will uh, extract that details for you so if you add school here it will extract that school and that kind of things but make sure and uh, please note that uh, the plugin actually won't extract uh, the object separately it will give you some vertex information see all these are vertex groups not the actual groups if you need that you need to import the osm get osm and you need to select separate object option so i'm going to use that and maybe you can check what's going on and uh, you can select that and that will uh, give you different groups according to uh, whatever you select and if you add custom tags here that will create a separate group and you ha you can check uh, how much your system handles or how much blunder handles that much probably and if you have a higher end configuration you can add more details so i think this is the end of this um, you can wind up this section and you can uh, keep working with uh, the blender gist plugin and uh, add your comments below so thank you for keep watching from ECG. Have a nice day.